Chase Van Braven in the offensive zone. Goes to short, a shot stopped by Farragher. And the rebound comes right back out. Another shot is stopped by Farragher. And then everyone is pushed around. And now there's a ruckus that breaks out in front of the goaltender. Everyone grabs a dance partner. As Cordelis now throwing some punches with Carroll. And Carroll's going to square up with them. Cordelis and Carroll are the only ones that have completely dropped the gloves. Cordelis comes over top. Couldn't get the punch. Now Carroll missed the haymaker and then dropped him to the ground. As the two of them fall, they want to get back up and go again. And now we have another fight that breaks out as Stu Bickle will drop the gloves finally. And now I think it's Dustin Stevenson as two big bodies there come now in the offensive zone for the Heat. Bickle comes back with a right. Now Stevenson counters with a right. The two of them wrestle and grapple around now. Stevenson pushes him up against the boards. An uppercut from Bickle. A couple punches thrown, but miss. Stevenson and Bickle still tied up there. And they skate now over. Here's Bickle throwing another punch. Now Stevenson drives him off off balance and then threw a right hand at the jaw. Bickle now still coming over top. The two of them got to be tired by now. And I think they're going to be, no, they're not going to be separated quite yet. They're still wrestling around. And now Bickle comes over again, hits the helmet of Stevenson with the right a couple times. Stevenson now wrestling him over and now had his jersey over top of Bickle. And that's where the referees will step in and eliminate the threat to Bickle after Stevenson gained the upper hand. It's a yard sale out on the ground with 11.5 seconds to go. As the Stockton Eat get a couple combatants at the end of the game, Stevenson, he goes with Bickle, and Carroll goes with Cordelis. A little too late for the San Diego Gulf.